people, my brothers and sisters. God bless you guys so much. So, if you guys check out this shirt that a sister of mine gave me, her name is Susan. Hey, sister Susan, thank you for this beautiful gift. The shirt says, there's power in the name of Jesus. I'm going to go right now to this intersection. I'm going to preach. I'm going to, basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to share some tracks. Because I'm trying as much as possible to heal my boys. But uh, I wasn't, I want to tell you guys this. I was in prayer today and God spoke to me. He said, the next event that will happen, the spiritual event is going to happen. God told me he's already judging the earth. He's already saying tornadoes, hurricanes, volcanoes. So I believe we're, we're, we're in Revelation in, in those first chapters. I believe though, I believe myself that we're in those chapters that God is destroying the earth and God is saying, God is sending plague and there's a lot of, rivers and, and, and seashores that are turning red and stuff so we have to be watching the signs we have to be watching the signs of the return of jesus the lord said he said to me in prayer today he said the next event the rapture he said to me you don't want to miss it and that's what he said to me my friends we don't want to miss that next event we don't want to miss it why why we don't want to miss it because things in the earth are going to get bad really really bad so yes absolutely we don't want to miss the rapture we want to please god we want to serve him we want to do that which is right before him and we want to be kept ourselves in holiness before him so that we are able so that we are able to go with him in the rapture and we, we're not going to stay here behind we're not going to stay in this world so, yeah, keep, let us keep that in mind, my friends, because the rapture is very close. That's the next great event that's going to happen, the rapture, spiritual, great spiritual event. The rapture of the Church of Christ, we're going to be taken to heaven. And if we're not holy as Jesus Christ is holy, we're going to be left behind. I believe that. So Jesus Christ said, you must be holy as I'm holy. Without holiness, no man will see the Lord. That's what the Bible says. So we have to be on our, um, we have to be standing spiritually and we have to be, yes, on our knees praying to God, asking him, Lord, am I ready? Lord, am I going to, am I going to go to your presence? I don't want to be left behind. I don't want to be in this world. I want to be in your presence forever. In Jesus name, Jesus, I'm going to say a prayer. Jesus, kind of worthy to escape all the things which must solely come to pass. Like the book of Thessalonians says, pray that you may be found worthy to escape all the things which must surely come to pass in this world thank you jesus thank you god for your mercy your kindness your compassion please wash us and make us whiter than snow in jesus name so that we'll be able to escape all the judgments all this all the things that are going to happen in the world the bible says we're not appointed to wrath but we're appointed to salvation to good things in jesus christ lord thank you so much for your sacrifice your mercy your compassion in jesus name let this message touch the hearts of many in jesus name lord we thank you amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you guys for watching. So, yes, I'm going to use this beautiful shirt that a sister in Christ sent me. Her name is Susan. Hey, sister, thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you guys, and thank you for watching.